Hi friends, a few days back, I took a live attempt of a quant sectional. In that live attempt, I answered a quant sectional, the questions of which I haven't seen before. And in one of the questions, I used an interesting shortcut to solve a question very quickly. Uh, it was a reminder theorem question where we were asked to calculate the reminder. And by looking at the options, I was able to solve it quickly and go ahead to the next one. Now, many students have messaged me and asked me what the shortcut was and how I was able to solve the question very quickly. So, I made this video to explain that question and the shortcut that I used. I think it will be pretty interesting and it will also be useful for you in many reminder theorem questions. It has a multiple of 3, so that is one thing 495, 485, 475, and 465. So it has to be either this one or this one. It can't be a non multiple of 3, that is one thing. Uh, it has to be a multiple of 9, it has to be a multiple of 9 also, so it has to be 495. Because both are multiples of 9, so it has to be a multiple of 9. The question was to find the remainder when 15 to the power 963 is divided by 720. And there were four options that were given. The four options were 495, 485, 475 and 465. Now, if you are trying to solve this question without the use of options or if this is a theta question, you will not be able to answer it using the shortcut. But because there were options given, I tried to figure out what is the best way to solve it. Now, once I looked at it, I realized that 15 to the power 963, because 15 is a multiple of 3 and 720 is a multiple of 3, the remainder will be a multiple of 3. That is, I will explain this concept after I explain the shortcut. But once I figured out that this is a multiple of 3, this is of the form 3k, 720 is 3 into 240. So, whatever is the remainder, that remainder will be a multiple of 3. Using that, I figured out that 485 is not a multiple of 3. You can calculate the sum of the digits, it is not a multiple of 3. 475 is also not a multiple of 3. So, the answer has to be either 495 or 465. Now, the second step I realized was that 15 to the power 963, because 15 is 3 to the power 963 into 5 to the power 963, this is actually a multiple of 9. This has 3 to the power 963, so it is a very big power of uh, 9. So, I realized that this is actually of the form 9k, which is a multiple of 9. 720 we all know is 9 into 80. So, now I realize that both of them are actually multiples of 9. And if both of them are multiples of 9, the remainder R also has to be a multiple of 9. Using this shortcut, I ruled out 465. 465 is a multiple of 3, but it is not a multiple of 9. So, the only multiple of 9 which was given in the options is 495. So, I ticked it and went ahead to solve the question. Now, you guys might have a doubt that uh, what is this theorem that I really used or what is the concept of the shortcut that I used. The concept I used is very simple. If you have a number which is say x and you are calculating uh, the remainder when x is divided by y and you realize that x is a multiple of 9 and y is a multiple of 9, then the shortcut is that the remainder r will also be a multiple of 9 and this is true for all numbers. Suppose you realize that x is a multiple of 7 and y is a multiple of 7, then the remainder r has to be a multiple of 7. If you are wondering why this is the case, let us uh, calculate a random multiple of 7. A random multiple of 7 is say 1050. And let us look at a random multiple of uh, 7 as the number to divide it. Let us assume it is 49. All that we are saying is that when 1050 is divided by 49, the remainder will be a multiple of 7. You can calculate it easily. It is 49 into 20 is 980. You add another 49 to it, you are going to get 1029. So, the remainder when 1050 is divided by 49 is 21 which is a multiple of 7. This can be very easily proved also. Anybody who is interested to prove it can prove it. You can message the proof in the comments. I look at the comments and I will answer it. If you like this video, you, can, you should definitely check out the quant section attempt that I made. I think you will find uh, many questions to be very useful. In addition to it, if you are struggling with any quant uh, section, definitely watch the revision videos that we made for quant. There are two revision videos on YouTube. We will give the link for those YouTube uh, videos in the description of this video. Both of them are around 2 hours long. So, overall in 4 hours, you will be able to complete the entire syllabus for quant. At least the basics, you will be able to complete it. Definitely look at the, the quant uh, revision videos that we made.